Hello, my name is Nassir Solari and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use Quandl for data analysis. Welcome to Data Vigo channel. We love to sharpen up your skills in data analytics. So if you like our videos, please hit the subscribe button. Have you ever heard of Quandl and how it works? You would be surprised how easy it is to extract data from this database using an API and Python. Quandl is a marketplace for financial, economic, and alternative data delivered in a modern format for today's analysts, including Python, Excel, MATLAB, and R. You find data in a variety of forms in this database. Some of them are free to use, and for some, you need to pay. Our focus in this video is to work with free and public data, but in short, you can find any type of data, such as stock market prices, Bitcoin prices, macroeconomics data, and even consumer data. So let's cut short and get straight to the point. Here is what you need to do. Number one is to install Quandl on your machine. It's pretty easy. Open your terminal in Mac or Windows and simply type pip install Quandl and then hit enter. You would then import Quandl as you normally do in any Python library. The second step is authentication process. It means you need to go to the Quandl website and sign up. You would then be able to log in. Then under the account setting, you will find your API key. This API key is unique to you only and hence the reason I have hidden mine in this video. You will need this key in order to extract the data that you're looking for. Finally, once you find the data set you're looking for, you can start extracting them. So I'm going to show you a quick example. First, we find the data set we are interested. In my case, it is the United Kingdom Office of National Statistics that provides data on a wide variety of topics such as employment, housing, national accounts, worker productivity, and many other socioeconomic indicators. This is a time series data set and most of them in Quandl follow this format. The data tab that shows examples of data, the documentation that provides details on how data is organized, and the usage tab that gives an example on how to extract data in different programming languages, in which in our case is Python. Each dataset has a unique organization. For example, in this case, it is organized as UCONS or UK Office of National Statistics. The indicator that you find in this table above and the frequency of the data, such as yearly, quarterly or monthly data. So if you know the indicator of the data set, you will write a simple code in Python and then the data is extracted for you. I highly recommend you to download the metadata of the codes from the data export section to understand what each code is about. So let's look at an example. First, we import the libraries. Then, we authenticate our accounts using our own API key. We then read the metadata CSV file that we downloaded before using pandas. So here, you can see what each code in the dataset is about by checking the name column. You can ignore other columns if you want to. As you can see, there are more than 73,000 datasets in here. So let's try the first code, which shows the growth rate of household expenditure in the UK. All you need to do is to simply type quandl.get and then the name of the code or the indicator that you find in the dataset. You notice that each code should begin with ucons forward slash according to the documentation. If you want, you can ask the API to produce the results for you based on your desired date, such as the example that you find in this code. So as you can see, it's very simple. 
However, the problem is that this only shows you the number without necessarily telling you what these numbers are about. In other words, if you save this file in, for example, the CSV format and then you send it to someone else, it's not really clear that what this number is in about. We need to have another column that tells us these numbers are about household expenditure growth rates. In the next video, I will show you how to do this and I will also show you how to concatenate multiple datasets together in Quandl using Pandas. For example, if you want to concatenate all datasets that are about unemployment or household expenditure, then you will be able to do so. So until then, keep watching Data Vigo channel and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.